guys, and you're watching ilearnthings.com, episode 10, adding color to reports. Uh, today we're going to look at a very si simple LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet, and we're going to add some color to it. I feel that adding color to uh, reports, uh, spreadsheets, documents, whatever they may be, really helps you get your uh, message across and really helps the content stand out and helps you draw the uh, reader's attention to whatever specific areas uh, you're interested in. Here we have a very simple table. It's a table of uh, color values. We have the RGB numbers, the red, green, and blue numbers. Uh, those are numbers between 0 and 255. And we have the hexadecimal values of those numbers, which are used um, uh, a lot in uh, web design. And, and uh, those numbers range from or are um, six uh, characters from 0 to F. Okay, so the first things first is you want to make sure you have your formatting toolbar visible. If you don't see this, go up to the View menu, uh, down to Toolbars, and make sure that this formatting uh, toolbar is checked. You might not have it checked, it might be unchecked, and in which case you'll not see uh, those tools available to you. But uh, to make things easier for you, just go to View, Toolbars, and uh, select Formatting. I want to hide this uh, grid that shows the cells so that we can see the actual formatting as it's going to print out when it's applied. So you click that button right there. That gets rid of the grid. Okay, so here, once again, we have a very basic table. And as most tables, we have a header, which kind of defines the fields uh, that are listed below that. Uh, usually for headers, what I like to do is uh, bold them. Um, so I start out uh, by bolding that. And that really makes those uh, stand out in so that you can tell that they're actual headers. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, cell borders to that as well. Just go ahead and click this uh, down arrow next to this little icon uh, that looks like a, a an, uh, cross within a square. And you'll see different border uh, creation options. I'm going to create a border for all the cells, so that's this bottom uh, right hand corner right there. Okay, now we can see we have the header bolded. We have uh, a border around all the cells. I'm going to go ahead and center the uh, border text as well. Okay, and make it a little bigger. A little too big here. Okay. Okay. Um, now, because this is a header, I want um, this to really stand out. But before I do that, we have the uh, values red, green, and blue. So I'm going to uh, make this column red. I'm going to highlight all the cells that I want to turn red. And go up here to this little icon, uh, which says background color, if you hover over it. Now, if you select the... Uh, drop down arrow, it'll give you a bunch of uh, color samples, and you can pick any one of these. If you uh, keep your cursor over them, it will tell you the name of that particular color. Like here we have light red, we have red 2, down here we have chart 11, whatever that means, uh, chart 2. I'm going to pick a red, uh, a light red. Okay, and that's really bright. Okay, so here, this next one we're going to make green. And change that to green. And the next one we're going to make blue. And change that to a blue right there. Uh, I don't quite like this red, so I'm going to change that a little bit. It's a little too bright for me. I'll go with a darker red. Okay. So now we have the column colors in white, column red and red green and green, blue and blue, and the hex also in white. Now, these right here in the middle are kind of hard to read, so we're going to have to change the value of the actual text. Um, yeah, let's see if we change that to white, what it'll look like. Now, highlight the cells that you want, once again, to change the text color, and go to this uh, icon here with little a that says uh, font color. Once again, click on the drop-down arrow and pick the color that you want. We'll try red. Uh, red seems, seems to be working pretty well. 
Um, now, you know, in this case, we used the actual color to symbolize what the column means. That really helps you understand. Okay, so this number means what are, that's the value in red. This number means that's the value in green. And this number means that's the value in blue to get this particular color. And that uh, visually represents exactly what you're trying to get across. I want to add a thick border underneath here. Um, so so that the header stands out a little more from the actual content. So highlight the header row, right click, and I'm going to go to Format Cells. Uh, then once the window pops up, I'm going to select the Borders tab. Uh, then I'm going to, under uh, Line Style, I'm going to select the thicker thickness, 2.5 and I uh, don't want to apply it to every, all of them I want to just apply it to the bottom and then a whoops 2.5 apply it to the bottom and make sure I have um, let's see I want to select one select the borders that I want to only have a thickness of one and to start uh, just clicking on those. Now inside this little uh, diagram here is a representation of what the cells will look like, right? So we have just two adjacent cells. The bottom will be a thick border. Uh, the right hand side will be a thin border. The top will be thin. Uh, in between the cells will be thin and the left hand side will also be thin. So go ahead and click OK and we should see that um, show up. Now this is a little too thick so I'm going to change that again. Once again, right click, go to Format Cells, and um, I'm going to pick a 1 for that and a point, oops, a 1 for that bottom and a uh, 0.5 for the rest of them. Now it's really hard to see here. You, you probably can't tell that uh, there's two different sizes there, but there are. And uh, if you hit OK, you'll be able to see, OK, now there's a thicker border right there and a thin border on the uh, top right and in between the cells. OK, another formatting thing that you might want to do is change the width of the cells to make uh, certain parts of your table stand out. In this case, I'm going to make the colors uh, wider, and I'm going to make these three... Um, skinnier columns because these three uh, columns right here are kind of meant to be understood together um, I don't want them to take up too much space and uh, I'll have the actual name of the color take up almost the same amount of space as those three different colors okay so now here we have the hexadecimal numbers let's um, make that column a little thinner and I'm going to keep that um, the way it is right now, too. But these names right here, I'm going to change the background to, or actually, I'll change the background of these right here. I'm going to change the background of red to be red, the background of green to be green, the background of blue to be blue, and so on and so forth. Now, if you look at this right here, we have orange. Right. If we right, if we right click on this and go to Format Cells, we can also change the background by clicking on the background tab right there. And these uh, colors that show up right here are the same colors that you would get if you click on this little uh, background tab that's right there. Okay, I'm going to go back to Format Cells, Background. There's an orange color right there. I can preview it. Hit OK. But how do I know? That this orange color that I picked is the same value that I have uh, for those red, green, and blue values. And um, if you have a strange, you know, the basic colors, the most common colors you'll find there, but sometimes you might want to um, match a particular color scheme and you want to create your own custom color. So to do that, I'm going to go up to, um, up to, uh, tools and down to options okay and you'll have the options dialog pop up um, 
and under LibreOffice you'll find a colors option so go ahead and click that uh, then this will let you add uh, colors so we're going to uh, add a new color and we're going to call it tutorial orange and we're going to change the value to the RGB values that we have here so for orange it's 255 127 and 0 I'm going to change these numbers right here to 255 127 and 0 so you can see that gives us an orange color um, and we're going to once we have the color the way we want it we're going to hit the add button right there okay and now we've added a color called tutorial orange hit OK now if we select that cell go down to this drop down menu and it'll appear as a new color and if you hover over it you'll see that it says tutorial orange okay so now we have ensured that this color that we are using for the background is the same one that we have over here let's do the same thing again for our brown go to tools options colors we'll call this tutorial brown set our RGB values 120 76 and 0 hit OK then go down here and I forgot to add the color so let's try that again tools oops tools options tutorial brown uh, RGB of 120 76 0 add okay and there it's been added hit OK go here change the background to tutorial brown and there we go now I'm going to do these other ones really quick um, because they have pretty much standard values on there already and change the foreground color I want to change the background color okay this green and blue and purple okay now it changes blue to match that blue there too and there we go now once again here that some of these are easier to read than others um, if I change them all to white let's see what that looks like I'm gonna highlight those cells go up here to font color or actually another way to do it oh, I undid it there another way to do it is to again right click and go to format cells and go to font the font tab uh, or font effects tab I'm sorry and change the font color uh, from this drop down menu and if you want white it should be uh, right there listed we'll try that so usually it's easier just to go up here and select the font color from this uh, table right there Okay, so that's basically it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.